Welcome to the lecture series of Statistics and Epidemiology. This mini lecture series is mainly focused for the students who are unable to attend the lectures because of ongoing COVID-19 outbreak. Any medical student, public health student or anybody who is interested in epidemiology can go through these lectures and learn about the different topics in Statistics and Epidemiology. Today we are going to talk about a special topic under the Epidemiology lecture series this that is screening. Before talking about screening, it is important to talk about the two major branches of epidemiology which are distribution and determinants of diseases. We are interested in distribution and determinants of diseases in order to do primary prevention. In primary prevention, we prevent the diseases before the onset. In second level, or in secondary prevention, we do screening for early identification of disease. That is after the onset, but preferably during the asymptomatic stage of the disease. After early identification, we will be able to minimize the morbidity or complications of diseases, mortality due to diseases, and cost the amount that we spend for the health of a country. So, screening can be defined as application of a test in order to identify diseases at an early phase. Then the next question is, what do we mean by a test? We apply tests to identify diseases at an early phase. This test can be a combination of symptoms and signs, maybe investigations. We can call that as a case definition. case definition or it may be just a blood test or biochemical test or biophysical test or combination of these tests but it is important to note that these screening tests are not diagnostic tests these are not diagnostics. They are not diagnostic tests. If it is for diagnostic purpose, we can call it as a diagnostic test. The next most important question is, are we going to apply screening test for all the diseases? In order to consider to apply a screening test to identify diseases, we have to think about several factors. So let's discuss about the different factors affecting the decision to apply the screening test. Okay, now we are going to discuss about the factors affecting the decision of screening. So we can divide these factors into two major categories disease related factors and test related factors. Severity of a disease is one of the main considerations before applying a screening test. If a disease is a severe disease, it will be important to identify disease at an early phase. For example, diseases like cancer, if we can identify early phase, the prognosis will be good. Of course, the second factor is prognosis. The prognosis associated with the disease. If the disease has good prognosis, it will be important to identify the disease at an early phase. If the disease has bad prognosis, screening will not change the outcome of disease. So it is important to have good prognosis if we need to apply a screening test. The next is we need to think about 
the ability of spreading the disease or the spread of a disease. If the disease can spread very fast, it is important to apply the screening test and identify the susceptible individual and quarantine or isolate them and prevent the disease. The best example is ongoing COVID-19 outbreak. The next most important thing is prevalence of disease. If a disease is very rare disease, after applications, application of uh, thousands of screening tests, we will be able to identify only few patients. So it is not a cost-effective procedure. So generally, we apply screening tests to identify most prevalent diseases. Main, one of the main important thing is ethical aspect associated with the diseases. Any disease has many ethical considerations. We always need to think about the ethical aspect before applying test. Cancer, sexually transmitted diseases and any disease with social stigma, we need to think about this ethical aspect before applying the screening test. The next category is test related factors. Two most important factors when we are talking about screening is validity and reliability of the test. I am not going to talk about validity and reliability of test. In the next video, I will be discussing validity and reliability. The next most important is cost. One of the main factors that we need to think before applying screening test. If screening test is very expensive, we will have to spend large amount of money for the screening procedure. Ultimately, that will not be a good screening uh, process. So, one of the unique features that a screening test should have is low cost. Next thing is, screening test must be an easy procedure. If we need to know many technical aspects to apply screening test, that will not be a good screening test. The test must be with minimal discomfort for the patient. So, the test with minimal discomfort we can choose as screening tests. I hope with this introductory lecture for the screening you have some idea about what is screening and what are the factors that you need to consider before applying or before deciding the screening process and I hope that you have got some idea about what is screening and the factors you must consider before initiating a screening process. In the next coming mini lectures, I am going to talk about validity and reliability also different procedures that we are using to assess the validity of a screening test. Next, different applications of screening process. So I'm going to talk about in the coming mini lecture series about these few topics. So thank you very much for listening. I stop here and I hope to meet you soon with the next videos of epidemiology and screening lecture series. Thank you very much for listening. Please don't forget to stay at home to prevent getting COVID-19. Thank you for listening.